Hi friends, in this video, I'm gonna make a 12 volt solar fan controller. I want to run my 12 volt fan on a 12 volt solar panel. As we know, a 12 volt solar panel generates 18 to 20 volt DC, which is much higher than the safe operating voltage of a 12 volt load. So that is why I'm gonna make a solar fan controller to run my 12 volt fan on the solar. So without further ado, let's start this video. If you are not subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notified about my new videos. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I have a second channel, Canny Tech. Do check it out as well. Subscribe and support it. All the links are in the description. So these are all the components we're gonna need for this project. First I'm gonna connect a triple five timer IC and connect its pin number one to ground, its pin number eight to positive supply and its pin number two to its pin number six. After that I'm gonna connect a two pin terminal block and connect its one pin to positive supply and its other pin to ground. After that I'm gonna connect 560 ohm 3 watt resistor and connect its one pin to positive supply. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1N4148 diode and connect its anode to remaining pin of 560 ohm resistor and its cathode to pin number 8 of 555 timer IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 8 of 555 timer IC and its other pin to pin number 7 of 555 timer IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 4.7K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 7 of 555 timer IC and its other pin to pin number 6 of 555 timer IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 0.47 microfarad capacitor and connect its one pin to pin number 2 of 555 timer IC and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 2.2K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 3 of 555 timer IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a PC817 optocoupler and connect its pin number 1 to remaining pin of 2.2K resistor, its pin number 2 to ground and its pin number 4 to positive supply. After that, I'm gonna connect 75 and 75 MOSFET and connect its pin number 3 to ground. You can use IRFZ44 MOSFET as well. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number one of the MOSFET and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect another 10K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number one of the MOSFET and its other pin to pin number three of the optocoupler. After that, I'm gonna connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number two of the MOSFET. After that, I'm gonna connect a 2.2K resistor and connect its one pin to positive supply and its other pin to anode of the LED. After that, I'm gonna connect a two pin terminal block and connect its one pin to positive supply and its other pin to pin number two of the MOSFET. After that, I'm gonna connect a thousand microfarad capacitor and connect its positive pin to positive supply and its negative pin to pin number two of the MOSFET. So we have done all the connections. Let's test the project. 